Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we will understand design and simulation of bug boost converter. We have already seen the design and simulation of bug converter and boost converter in the previous video. So in this video we will understand design and simulation of bug boost converter by using LT Spice, right? So let us understand the circuit diagram first. So this is the circuit diagram of bug boost converter okay so here you can see here uh, we have input voltage v1 and the range for this input voltage is 3 to 10 volt right v in equals to 3 volt to 10 volt so minimum input voltage is 3 volt and maximum input voltage is 10 volt and for both v in 3 volt and v in 10 volt our output voltage is 5 volt so either cases if we, if your input voltage is 3 volt your output voltage is 5 volt if your input voltage is uh, 10 volt your output voltage is 5 volt so we will understand how this bug boost converter works if input voltage is 3 volt what is the output voltage and if input voltage is 10 volt what is the out, output voltage right so here you can see this is the v1 which is input voltage and this goes to a mosfet this is basically nothing a switch rsl 020p03 and then we have inductor the value of inductor is 100 micro henry and then we have diode d1 uh, which is in5817 then we have output capacitor c1 which is 100 microfarad then we have load resistance r1 which is 40 ohm right so to to drive this mosfet we i used one transistor here this is q12122 and this is driven by a pwm signal okay so here we have pulse input to drive this transistor okay so, so this is p channel mosfet m1 okay so turn it on the base the gate to source voltage of this this mosfet should be low so if you apply a high signal high pulse to the base of this transistor q1 so this transistor q1 gets turned on and the collector of this transistor c a zero volt here here you can see zero volt so gate to source voltage for this p channel transistor is low so this p channel transistor is also turned on right so let me run the simulation here okay let me show you the input voltage so this is the input voltage you can see this is the input voltage 3 volt and let me show you the the pulse voltage here all right this is the pulse voltage and if you zoom it further you can see the pulse voltage yep 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 yeah so this is the pulse voltage and i want to show you the voltage as this node so here you can see the pulsating output for some time it is low and for some time it is high so let me show you the the switch node voltage okay this is the switch node voltage for high it is 3 volt and for low it is around 6 volt and let me show you the inductor current okay this is the inductor current so you can see the minimum inductor current is up 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 yeah so you can see at the transient time the inductor current goes up to 1.5 ampere then it reduces and this is the steady state period so let me zoom it for you to show the steady state period okay so this is basically uh, from here 430 milliampere to from here uh, 558 milliampere there is a inductor ripple current okay so let me click it here to find out the switch node voltage so you can see this is the switch node voltage and this is the inductor current okay so let me show you the diode waveform 
diode current waveform this is the diode current waveform and this is the inductor current waveform right so uh, let me show you now the output voltage okay yeah so this is the output voltage okay this is the output voltage and you can see you can see the output voltage is minus 5.1 to 5 point minus 5.11 that now the question is why this this minus output so buck boost converter is called inverting this is inverting buck boost converter that means if your input voltage is positive your output voltage is negative right so so in this case you can see you can see your input voltage is 3 volt and your output voltage is your output voltage is 5 volt right let me show you the output voltage this is your output voltage your input voltage is 3 volt and your output voltage is v out equals to 5 volt right now i will change i will change the input voltage 3 to 10 volt okay so let me change the input voltage 3 volt to 10 volt right and if you change the input voltage you have to you have to uh you have to reduce the t on time of this mosfet so i will change here the t on time it is it is now 4.8 microsecond i will change it to 1.5 microsecond okay or let me show you if if the same duty cycle you have what is the output voltage right so let me run the simulation again uh, now your input voltage is 10 volt and let me show you the output voltage okay so if if the input voltage is 10 volt then the output voltage is you can see at steady state point your output voltage is around 21.2 volt okay 21.2 volt so so what is difference here so when your input voltage was 3 volt your output voltage was 5 volt at that point of time your mosfet turn on time was 4.8 microsecond now if you increase your input voltage 3 to 10 volt and you have same duty cycle same turn on time of the mosfet your output voltage increases so for 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 same duty cycle at v in equals to 10 volt your output is minus 21.10 volt let me reduce the t on time here so uh let me reduce this 1.5 microsecond now let me run the simulation okay so let us see now what is the what is the output voltage okay for your input voltage 10 volt right so it's running it's not so faster let let us check yep yep so you can see here you can see here for input voltage 10 your output voltage is minus 5.0 or minus 5 volt so you can say if your input voltage is 3 volt your output voltage is 5 volt and if you if your input voltage is 10 volt your output voltage is minus 5 volt so to get the same output voltage you have to alter the duty cycle of your MOSFET or your switch, 